Well, how do that, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I want to compare three games that I love to bits. When it comes to NPCs, NPC interactions, how memorable they are, and how in depth they are. And the three games that I'm going to compare is Starfield, No Man's Sky, and Cyberpunk. And because out of those three, you know, Starfield is the newer game. That's the one that I really want to sort of pass judgment on. I know that might sound a little bit odd to pass judgment on, but just to show comparison on judgment could be a little bit too harsh. Anyway, let's jump on over into the verse so I can show you what I'm on about. So these are videos that I have created for all three of the games. I'm just going to show you snippets of each of them and the interactions with the NPCs. So here you go. This is No Man's Sky, and I'm interacting with a Gek here. He's a little alien Gek on a little Gecky alien world inside of a space game. So interacting with a space alien inside of a space game seems quite apt. Here we go. I would like a word, please. Thank you. Uh, teach me your language. OK, so here you go. This is what I mean. Look, there's four here. There's four. Once we've learnt a few words, this will drop down to three, then two, then one, and then we've learnt the language. So it always excites me when one disappears from that tier. Let's run around this and let's see if that actually happens, people. We'll see if it goes down to three. OK, here we go. Hello there, buddy. Request dialogue help. An aggression symbol. We've got combat there. OK, cool, yeah. So there you go, people. It's very simple interactions inside of No Man's Sky. There's not much facial expressions going on, but at least they're aliens on alien worlds inside of a space game, aren't they? Now I'm going to move on to a Starfield. And here we go. I'm in a space game inside of some sort of spacey area I'm on planet Jemison. But anyway, let's, let's hit play here, because here's an interaction on this game. Hello, mate. Ah, you must be our new applicant. I'm Proctor Samuelson. The simulator's already been prepped. You can head in whenever you're ready. Okay. Okay, yeah, of cool. Um... Yeah. While I can't answer that question directly, I will say this. Due to the solitary nature of our work, resourcefulness is a critical tool in any Vanguard pilot's repertoire. Okay. You're permitted, even encouraged, to use whatever tool you're able to find in there. Okay. Well, that's a little bit of a hint, well, isn't hunting. it? Okay, now... OK, I, I find him, the facial expressions are rather limited, but the actual voice wasn't too bad. It sounded a little bit robotic. It didn't sound like there was too much inflection in the voice. And you find that throughout a lot of the characters inside of um, Starfield. They're very sort of monotone. There's not much facial expression. They don't really move around inside of the scene either. And nor do you. Uh, it's very static, straight there, bang. Anyway, let's jump on over to Cyberpunk, because Cyberpunk's been out for quite some time now, and I've been enjoying the new Phantom Liberty sort of expansion, but let's just hit play on this. Now, just... Look, I mean, she's crouched for a start. I don't think I've spoke to anybody that's actually crouched or done anything, but anyway, I'll, I'll hit play on this one. Took a big hit. Broke down. Racing hard. Cold sweat. It'll pass. Cold sweat. Sure hope so. But then the whole scene moves, look. quite kind, I don't like the other options. I can hope so. I know about the bomb taken in your head. If I could disarm it now, I would in a heartbeat. You'll feel better any second now. Maybe something stinks here. I think she's, she's fucking with the relic. Hmm. How in the... She can see Johnny. All true, Johnny. But don't you? What the fudge? They're both safe. Nah, fuck off. Both of us on the biochip protocol at once can trigger shots for B, like you just saw now. Okay. You off. What? For your safety. For B. All right, now this is an intro to some DLC. That's just boom. What the heck? It's Cut above you. Thank you, Mother. Here's you fine. Just can't talk back. Okay. Touch songbird, you like construct. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's do that. Look, you know, I go to actually interact with them now. After a choice, there's actually an interaction, you know? I'm a net runner. Opt on the Relis cognitive protocol to dial in. I see and hear what you do. Okay, so I think you kind of get the idea with all of that. Now, for me, I kind of feel that the NPCs inside the Starfield 
are less human than the humans that are cyborgs inside of um, Cyberpunk. I kind of think that the Starfield NPCs look a little bit like this. I'm Sophia from Hanson Robotics. Meet Sophia. You may have <laughs> seen her around. She's one of the most well-known robots out there. Okay, so uh, you can probably see the similarities and where I'm going with this. She looks just like freaking Sarah. If you added some hair on, it's freaking Sarah, isn't it? From freaking Starfield, mate. And, uh, you know, they're supposed to be humans, whereas inside of Cyberpunk, you're cyborgs, you're androids, essentially. But they look more human and more believable than those that are inside of Starfield. And Cyberpunk, technically, in a roundabout way, is an older game. I know that they started Starfield years ago, but they started Cyberpunk years ago. I just kind of feel that the engine that's been used for Starfield is a little bit tired, a little bit old, and probably done the NPCs a little bit of an injustice, people. As much as I'm loving the freaking story, it would have been far more engrossing if they put a little bit more effort into the scenes, into the actual drawing the characters in, and a little bit more immersion, a little bit like what we just saw inside of, you know, Cyberpunk. I mean, that's uh, th this was probably the best sort of pull into a game that I've had in a long time. And they could have so easily have done that, or I feel that they could have with, with Starfield, perhaps. But, you know, this is the first Bethesda game that I've really jumped into and started to enjoy. Um, but there we go. Uh, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, people. Let us know in the comments. Yes, yeah, sound off, people. Heck yes. Anyways, back to me over in the old studio. So yeah, I am loving, I, I like all three of these games, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to hate on it or anything like that, I'm just saying that Starfield's NPCs, in my opinion, are better than those inside of um, No Man's Sky. Actually, I think I've got a little PowerPoint, I've got a little PowerPoint I can do for you people. Yeah, let's, 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 let's hit on up a little PowerPoint, here we go, boom, and I'll just jump back on over into the old... PC world. Chicka pow! There I am on the screen. PowerPoint time! Like, yes, there's no man's sky. Do they fit the game? You know, because it's a space game and they're aliens. They look very alien, don't they? Yeah, so I'm going to give that a green. Are they voice acted? No. Lifelike expressions? Not really. I mean, they're aliens, so potentially. Have they got unique gestures? Well, sometimes they pull out data pads, do little holographic projections, but they all freaking do it. So, no. Are they memorable? There's a couple of memorable ones in there, like, you know, Nal and Nada and Polo and some of the ones on the Nexus, but they don't really do much. They're kind of furniture. So, you know what? I'm going to say no for that as well. Uh, that's probably a bit harsh, but there we are. It is what it is. So, you've got one green out of all of those. The rest are all freaking reds. Oh, gosh. Okay, Starfield. Let's do the same again. Same sort of synopsis. I mean, do they fit the game? They're humans throughout the whole of space. And we're talking thousands of planets here, people. I'd like to see more than one freaking race. Yeah, and I'd like to see a couple of aliens in there as well. Mass Effect managed that. That was pretty cool. So I'm going to say no, but they are voice acted. Do they have lifelike expressions? I'm going to say no, because they look like freaking Sophia the android that I just showed you momentarily ago. Have they got unique gestures? Yeah, maybe. A few of them have. I've, uh, yes. Yeah, I guess. It's like the, the the fan. Yeah, he's got a few. Are they memorable? The adoring fan is. A couple of them are. So, there you go. Anyway, I've hit it up. they got two greens. I mean, the unique gestures, perhaps I'm being a little bit unfair on that one. But I have seen a few repeated gestures. Uh, they all seem to have the same sort of walking frame. It's like in Cyberpunk. Sometimes you see NPCs walking with a limp. And they're all different body shapes and all sorts of... You don't see as much variety inside of the old Starfield, just out on the streets and crowded markets or whatever. You don't see the same variety that you see inside the Cyberpunk. Yeah, anyway, let's set up Cyberpunk. So we go, do they fit the game? All across the board are freaking green. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Starfield is far better than No Man's Sky, but at the same time, it'd be nice to see some aliens inside of Starfield. In fact, it would just see it'd just be nice to see Starfield up their game a bit with the NPCs. I'm hoping perhaps they might bring out some sort of DLC or some sort of expansion pack that brings in alien races. You know, it's like the Soul System. They could put an elliptical planet on an orbit. They could bring in Planet X, Planet Nibiru, bring in some reptilians. Yes. Yes, lizard people. Yeah, that'll make the uh, Wi-Fi, Wi 
files are very happy if you haven't checked out the wild files they're freaking awesome yeah go and hit them up um anyway so there we go people that's my sort of synopsis on this i've done a powerpoint yeah don't say i didn't spend some time on this yeah <laughs> there we go people i've got winamp underneath me as well using all the retro gadgets today people if you like this style and you like my approach to this sort of stuff or if you if you agree with me or don't agree with me but just like my take on stuff because i always add humor hit that subscribe because we're trying to hit 50 million subscribers people we're on 30,000 now it's not a giant leap it's a couple of zeros on the end and what's a zero at the end of the day it's nothing so hit that button join me in my quest to nothingness until next time people <laughs> goodbye goodbye and goodbye again